out here with Izzy and my brother who's walking away from camera there. <laughs> We're picking up plants for what? Uh, dwarf crop enclosure. And then my snakes too. So let's find some snake, I mean not snakes, plants. Plant. Let's get plants. Hey guys, what's up? So we are here at Izzy's facility and I'm going to show you some of the baby crocs he has here. I'm going to take out the West African Dwarf Crocodile, one of his hatchlings from a couple of years ago. This guy's name is Gummy. He's the cutest crocodile on the planet. Let me show you. He's actually pretty a pretty chilled crocodile. And as you can see, this is probably one of my, if not the favorite crocodile for me. Look at that. He's making such a cute little noise to call his mommy and daddy to come and protect him. But these guys have heavy, heavy osteoderms. And that osteoderms are free floating bone in their scales. So as you can see this, it's like armor, armored plating skin. And osteolamus, which is their scientific name, osteolamus tetraspis, actually means four shields and that's for these osteoderms right behind their neck here acting as armor to protect them as you can see it's hard and it, it like it's not attached to any spinal cord or anything like that but isn't that guy so cute he's a really really well behaved little guy too Izzy's done some incredible training with him and now he's just a little bit weary because he doesn't know me but he's the cutest little guy. I want to give him a kiss on the lips, but I'm not going to do that. So let's feed some of the animals he has here, like the Palosuchus and the Mesitops cataphractus, which is another African species that is absolutely incredible. Take a look at Gummy. I just love him. Cool. Let's put him away and get the food out. There we go. Nice and warm in their little tubs there. So we will get a nice little chunk of chicken over here. And I'm going to feed last year's hatchling West African Dwarf Crocodile, Osteolamus tetraspis. Okay, so we'll try Gummy now because that little guy wasn't interested. Come check out Gummy. No. Are you full? Okay. Sorry. Are you talking to me saying you've had enough? Okay. Okay. Next next little guy is the male Mesitops cataphractus, which is the West African slender snout crocodile. Incredible, incredible animals. Come check out this. Please eat little dude. There we go, did you see that? You can zoom in there. So he's probably just going to sit there for a while and decide to swallow it when we are not watching because he thinks we are going to steal it from him or I don't know, just a little bit scared. He's a baby, rightfully so. So let's leave him be and see if we can try feed the West African Dwarf Crocodile again. Let's give it another shot. Let's try find a small little piece of this chicken over here, it's not the nicest thing to see, but let's try. There we go. No, I don't think it's going to eat it. Oh well. Oh well, I think they've been fed enough. Probably having a nice time here with Izzy and that's why they're not wanting to feed on camera because they're probably a bit spooked out about this you know whole apparatus with the microphone so let me just get that piece of chicken that he bit in a defensive bite so that's it 
see how they dunk the chicken in the water like that? That's because they kind of got to get it lubricated before they can get it down their gullet. And no, they don't swallow while they are underwater because they have a palatal valve that basically blocks all the water so it doesn't like fill up their lungs. So that's why they have to swallow it above the water so they don't drown. Let's see if we can feed Mr. Truffles a big, there we go, West African Dwarf Crocodile. Generally West African Dwarf Crocodiles don't get this big so he's He's an exception, eh? Is he? <laughs> yeah, he is. He's about 2.1 or 2.2 meters. Come on, there you go. There we go. What a good boy. Oh, you guys made it. Ooh. Okay, so... The West African North Crocodiles, what are they busy doing now, Izzy? Uh, as far as I could see, it seems like the tails were cold. Here's my male's back, so the female must be here. Yeah. So, you th I think, I they're, think they're mating, I honestly <laughs> do. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so we don't want to disturb them too much, but Izzy wants to plant a bit of like live plants in the enclosure to just brighten it up. But, what are you, what are you thinking? Uh, I just want to put that plant over there, so it's not much. Okay, so, we'll just put some plants up. This side, because they are a very terrestrial species, so let's do that. Let's get this in here. So just planting some plants just to make the enclosure spiced up a bit. And while it's incredibly hot in here in this like greenhouse for the crocodiles, is he's just going to fetch some potting soil so we can fill this up. And this over here is a system that Izzy's created to kind of mimic rainfall. It's, what do you call it, a misting system, but it doesn't spray out mist. It's more like rainfall slash mist. And for that, he can help induce the crocodiles to start mating and that. But we caught them mating, which is incredible. And it's an incredibly rare thing to catch West African dwarf crocodiles busy mating. I'm sorry you can't see it, but they are busy mating right now, which is incredible. So here comes the soil, just move out the way a bit. There we go, that looks really nice. I should have bought some of these plants for my <laughs> my snakes too. Not too long ago we planted some other stuff in here, but yeah, the heat I think and everything the water in here it. just basically cooks because of the temperature. It's insane. West African dwarf crocodiles breeding, that's pretty cool. Not something you see every day, not that we can see the animals though. But thanks Izzy for showing us around with the babies, that was incredible. Cool, no issues man, no issues.